Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I wanted to make a quick video before we, we meet tomorrow, um, and I apologize for my voice. I was tested positive for COVID on Saturday, and I'm just now recovering, really, um, <clears throat> and I'll be coughing through this video, and prob probably tomorrow, um, but anyway, I'm doing better, just got congestion, uh, but I, re I, I made some really good progress uh, while I was sick. Um, I was able to, to focus <coughs> more on the <coughs> on the design, and I realized that what I was designing um, was matched exactly uh, what was already on the market from a development board standpoint. And it was really brought to my attention um, on another project that I that I've, uh, I'm working on um, using this board right here. This is a uh, uh, I think it's from the back here uh, a tiny pico board um and i was aware it was out there <coughs> i have just never used it a whole lot um that black chip that you see there uh, at an angle at the top next to the led <coughs> is <coughs> the same as that module um it's just a different package um <coughs> the reason i'm not familiar with it is it's really limited to what you can do. Um, it's particularly around Wi-Fi because it runs so hot when Wi-Fi is enabled. But we're not using Wi-Fi uh, for this. So, um, once I realized, you know, what I was putting in my design and what this board had, it's ridiculous to design something uh, when this is available for 20 bucks. Um, I don't think I could, you know, the time I spend doing the design and ordering the parts, the parts would probably be, <coughs> probably be $200, um, and then I have to assemble it, but, um, uh, so I, I went down the path to, to see what this board, how far I could get it, and, um, the, uh, the Tiny Pico libraries, uh, work fine with the code, uh, that I have for the firmware. Uh, for the corks, it I just added the library and put the function calls in there to um, control the the LED. And actually, that's an RGB LED. That's exactly what we need. <coughs> it's the same as that. Um, same technology, different format. <coughs> <for that. coughs> Excuse me. I apologize, but I got to make this video. Um, as that RGB uh, right there, it's just uh, uh, a different. Um, like I said, different format, um, and it's really bright too. So, um, so anyway, I went down a path of getting these working. Um, I only have have three of them, uh, so this is a simulation of using three corks. Um, and so, <clears throat> uh, I think it's a good move for us because, uh, I mean. This pretty much finishes the hardware design for the cork. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is design a, a cork in, in Fusion 360 to put it in and make it watertight. So, um, significantly reduces the amount of work I've got to do for that. So, um, but I, <coughs> I want to review it with you guys because that's not <coughs> what we agreed to. <coughs> God, I'm sorry. It's not what we agreed to in the contract. So, um, uh, we can talk about it more tomorrow, but I, I wanted you guys to see this so you can see how, how much uh, progress I've made. And you notice everything's running on batteries. Um, that uh, That's the other thing about it. Is, uh, this thing is ready to go. It's got the same battery management chip um, um, as this guy does over here. Um, it's he, This guy here, you can see the USB that you plug it into to charge the battery. Um, of course, we'll have to take it out of the cork to charge it, but I think we talked about that. Uh, but it's ready to go. It's got everything that it needs. Um, and so I'll, uh, let me crank up the app here. And so it'll connect. Everything turns blue. I've got a connection here on the scale 
all three of these guys are there and um, I don't know that I'm gonna have to I'm gonna probably have to put the phone down to get the weight in here <clears throat> let's see so uh, I'm gonna uh, do three corks and on the fourth one it's gonna ask me to um, call so let's do all right so let me get one at pound ah, if I miss that up Hold on a second. I don't have state management nailed down yet, so I have to remove the app and start completely over uh, to get it to work right. It's that's just another that's just another thing I got to get done. Um, but I don't expect it'll it'll it's be a, a lot of work. <clears throat> All right, so everything's connected. And so let's see. So let me get the uh, pound there. Cork one has 1.57. Cork three has 208. Cork two has 3 311. So there's the weight. Um, I'm going to run the scale up to four pounds. <clears throat> and so you can see there um, it's saying cork one is the smallest, which it is. And then I will come on, call the fish. So cork one um, should move to the top and its weight should change to for something I forget what it was and so there it goes um, cork is one is at the top three is now the smallest and so let me run it's hard to do with two hands here so let me run this up I'll make a let me get it between Three. Now three. No. Yep. Yeah, it's saying cork three is the smallest. Two point eight. I'll call that fish. And now cork three. I believe that went right. I'm <clears throat> losing track here. Um. But anyway, <coughs> I believe I've got the. Uh, I get it working to select the smallest one and call it and assign it. <coughs> um, the next step <coughs> is to. Uh, <coughs> <excuse me. coughs> I'm so sorry, but I feel like I got to make this video so y'all can see this. Um, the next task is to uh, flash the uh, board with the smallest weight. Um, and I've, I've sort of got it working. I've only got it working, got it, got it to work once. Um, and I think it's a bug in my code I'm trying to track down. And it's, this is, this part is tougher than what I thought it would be because I've never had to manage, um, multiple devices, Bluetooth devices, uh, essentially in this case, offering four services and communicating back to the right one. <clears throat> I'm, <clears throat> I'm doing I'm using the function that I think I need to use it's just uh, I've got to figure out figure out why uh, why it's not working consistently so but anyway this is good progress um, uh, we can talk about timing on this tomorrow but I believe this is going to improve my delivery uh, to at least um, end of potentially end of January definitely before mid-February um, assuming you guys um, uh, you know, are agreeable to the board um, and the functionality that exists at that time. But um, anyway, I apologize for all the coughing, but I think it's uh, it was worth showing this to you guys so we can talk about it some tomorrow. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you tomorrow.